Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, one of the stocks that had a really solid run up lately is NVIDIA, NVDA. And you could pull up a chart of NVDA and you could see how they had a massive gap higher following their earnings announcement, really more specifically their earnings call. And one of the big things here is that this company makes the chips that powers AI. So any AI company out there that you think might be a good investment, NVIDIA ends up being a much better investment because they're powering that company and a whole bunch of others. Now, that being said, how, do, how would one play it? Well, you know, you look at something like this and you think, hey, you know what? I would love to just buy the calls. Uh, you know, if we can get big moves like we've seen here, you can get a nice leverage profit. And sure, I'd like to do that. But here's the problem with that, potentially. Let's pull up the option chain. So let's say over the next nine days, we think that uh, NVIDIA could pop a bunch. So we could buy these 380 calls at the money. Now, those are trading at about a 50 volatility. Now, one thing about this is it's pretty hard to tell if a 50 volatility is overpriced or underpriced. Um, because we've got this big, gigantic mesa here, though implied volatility has increased some from there. So, A, that's a little hard to tell. But the other thing is, because it's hard to tell, we'd kind of like to hedge off that volatility. Now, what's interesting is that the higher strike calls are actually trading at a higher volatility than the at-the-money calls. You don't typically see this. Typically, the higher the strike, the lower the volatility. But here, because there's so much interest from call buyers to the upside in NVIDIA, these calls just got really bid up. How bid up are they? Well, the Vegas are 18 cents. These are trading about well, five and a half points higher than the at the monies, and usually they should be a couple points lower. Now, let's just conservatively round that to six points. Six times 18 comes out to, what, here, six times... 18 is a dollar 08. These are trading a dollar 08 higher. These 405 calls are trading a dollar 08 higher than they normally would be if it wasn't for this skew. So you can hedge off a lot of your volatility risk and make this trade, you know, about 40% cheaper than just straight outright buying the calls. Now, yes, you give up a little bit of upside, but in my opinion, the benefits that you get from using a bull call spread instead of just outright buying the calls more than makes up for what you give up to the upside. Hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.